When I took this shot, the sun was up here somewhere and its light hit the front element of my lens. And when that happens, you usually get a lens flare. So do you see this colorful area here? That's not really part of this architecture. It's caused by my lens. So let's fix it. Here's how I end up fixing it. In my layers panel, I'll create a brand new empty layer. And I'll do that by clicking on the new layer icon. It's right here. So now any paint that I apply is going to only apply up here. And I'm also going to change the blending mode for that layer. The blending mode is found in this menu right here. And it controls how this layer interacts with what's under it. In normal mode, whatever I put in this layer simply obstructs your view of what's down here. Just like if I put my hand in front of my face, it obstructs your view of my face. But I'm going to instead change this menu to a choice called Color. And when I use the choice called Color, whatever I put in this layer will only change the color of what's underneath. It will not change the brightness. It'll change the color of what's underneath, but not the brightness. Then I'm going to grab the paintbrush tool and make sure it doesn't have any weird settings in it. Like my opacity is at 100, I'm in normal mode, all that kind of stuff. And what I'll do is when you're in the paintbrush tool, you can grab a color right out of your picture to paint with. And the way you do it is you hold down the option key, which temporarily gives you an eyedropper. And then you can just click somewhere in your picture and you've just chosen that particular color to paint with. Now watch what happens when I paint right here. If this layer was not set to color mode, if it was set to normal, when you paint it, it would look like this. But because I first set it to color mode, it's only going to be able to change the brightness, or not, sorry, not the brightness, the color, it's not going to be able to change the brightness. So the detail is contained in the brightness. I can go like this. Then I'll sample a different color because this brick is a different color. Grab it and I'll paint near the edge. Down here I see some kind of um, bluish purple. So I'll grab from just outside of it, paint there. Grab from over here. See just the hint of green, I'll, I'll grab from the dark area here, get a smaller brush so I get it only in that really darker area. Like that. There we go. Now I'll hide this layer so you can see what it used to look like before. Turn it back on so you can see what it looks like afterwards, after. And here's what it would have looked like if I was in normal mode. You see how it's just solid color sitting there. But in color mode, it can only shift the color, it can't change the brightness. But I think that this area right here is still a bit bright from the lens flare. I don't think the actual brick that's there is this bright. So then let's adjust it. I would like to have that area selected so that when I make an adjustment, it only affects that area. But I don't feel like using a selection tool because most selection tools create hard edged selections. I would rather paint with my brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the letter Q. Do you remember quick mask mode? What quick mask mode usually does is if you already have a selection on your screen and you type Q, it will cover up the areas that are not selected with red. Type it again and it turns it off. But if you don't have any selection active whatsoever and you type Q, which I just did, it doesn't look like anything happened. But it's still turned on quick mask mode. And now all I need to do is paint with black. And I am in essence creating a selection where when I type the letter Q again, it will convert that into a selection. So if you ever want to paint to make a selection, type the letter Q to turn on quick mask mode, paint with black, and then type the letter Q again.